Wow. Are you really winter? Are you at the wrong resolution again for some reason? Uh oh, weird. All right, weird. Sometimes it knows what the resolution should be, and sometimes it does not. Can't get her face. Oh, oh, no face, girl. I don't know how to add it where it makes it long and not short. There we go. You crazy old kitties. That's good. I didn't realize my save point was right there. I thought I was going to kind of have to run back from the town. Alexa, turn off the lights. What was that? 
I think that was a clunk or a kerplunkum. Whoa! FBI you d bag. You're throwing crap at me? Are you for real right now? Oh, kitty. Come on. Come on, good kitty. That feels like some Resident Evil 4, 4 crap right there, TBH. Hey! Come on, you can't jump up like that crazy. Come on. Come on. Here, take Aqua away. Uh oh, there he goes. More people turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? Yeah, what am I supposed to do about that? I... I feel like I don't have any ammo. I should try to get up there. I see a box or something. There's definitely going to be a guy here on the way, I'm sure. Oh yeah, this this feels safe. Under the log and through the cult. To Baba Yaga's hut I go. There's another cult stash. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. <clears throat> Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. That was coming fast. Huh. Okay, so... It brought tourists, eh? Not just people who were in town. They're like, yeah, I guess we should check out that coffee world. Yeah, you're not going to like Alan when he finds out that he wrote your little girl is dead. Uh-oh. I 
I haven't really tried or used that. Let's set one of those up. Oh, there's a note. Am I still being watched? I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. It looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse, too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree means business. Find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree means business. Find what guy? Is this one way? Nope. Okay. Am I trying to get to Coffee World? Because I am way off base if that's the case. I'm about a trillion miles away from Coffee World. Is there a generator here? Because I would like to be safe. What is wrong with you, Nutto? Are those are those like goose mugs? What what is that on that weird thing here? Kinda goose flower pots, swan flower pot thing. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. 
What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man, a monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. No, give me a manual. I mean, yeah, why are you still telling me about charms? Yeah. I, yeah, I got it, guys. That was weird. And where the hell does this lead? Needs to be a level of zoom between furthest out and furthest zoomed. Shoebox. All right, going north is just going to take me to the old radio tower. Let's do that. I'll also do a quick save so I don't have to do that again. Derp -derp -derp -derp. That's sus, but fine, why not?
Listen, cuckoo clock designer Terry Feldman. Terry, how are we today? Hey there, Pat. Doing just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What a treat. in a selection of custom basewood cuckoo clocks but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp <laughs> out comes a big old deer well that's just neat I don't want that <laughs> yeah it's pretty neat really? I don't want a big deer that's gonna have the tourist tickle pink and I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market so make sure to say hello to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there, all right? Terry, you, you, you still there? Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... Jeez, Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I thought you heard. Wendy's dead. Oh, boy. That's, that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. No, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, Pat, you... You know all that FBI business. Wendy was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the uh, the, the smoked hickory and the teriyaki and, and then... What was that other one? I'm, I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was... Just talking about this just hours ago. Smoke hickory, teriyaki, and. Hickory teriyaki! Thanks, Tapio! It's, it's just a bit of a strange joke, Terry. Did Yako and I won't put you up to this? Pat. Well, somebody's having a laugh over this little prank, I'm sure. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Cam. Always and and we'll be back after this. Another rhyme. All right. Well, I have the improper dolls for that, so. Think saga. No idea. Doesn't make sense. Ugh. Doesn't look right. Oh, I can't put two on the hmm. same thing. Okay. I may be missing a moose anyway. M A M. And another lunchbox. I lowered my rifle, standing on the car's roof. I looked down at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe, thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hopefully for the last time. The townspeople cautiously emerging from their hiding places, surveyed the same carnage I saw, and cheered my name, and I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, honest in life, reading books and gardening and fiber crafts, and being the world's top mycology expert. Suddenly, a hand seized my wrist. I looked 
into the eyes of my sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. That's interesting. Not Rose, is it? Is Rose crocheting? Interesting. Hold on. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Chocolate. There are two kittens that are asleep right by my feet. Mm -hmm. 
It's the worst having all these kittens by my feet. I can't believe how many kittens are in our house. No, we only see many kittens. How can we trick someone into taking so many kittens? They're not like greyhounds. I'm going to take your kitten, please. May I take your kitten, please? Oh, wow. The nudity center can only be changed at the main menu. Actually, they really want this guy to hang dong. Is there going to be more nudity? I don't feel safe here at all. That was just a regular hiker. <sighs> Baby hop for some reason. Feel safer at the real pause screen. <laughs> Ice cream indeed. That ice cream, ice cream. Something fun's gonna kick in soon. Did you see what kind of weapon I found in the woods? No. I'm so excited. <coughs> oh, that's cool. 
gotta stop wandering into the lake. One bit, sir. Maybe I can go further this way? No, it's a small area. Shay. Um. There's another lunchbox. I eat your lunch. Mm -hmm. Hi, hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes. But I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Weird that there's a light on in there. And upstairs? What? Why? Can I get in there? It's so wet in here, though. How am I going to get in there? Ranger cabin watery. Okay, I guess I can get there. That's ominous. I don't want to go in that fucking cabin. I have the girl in between my feet here. And I felt bad I kept punting this cat. <laughs> No way. Is this just how I walk to the cabin? No. <laughs> the hell did I hear? Mm -hmm. 
Here beer. There beer. Oh good, I see I get a quick save before this, with good reason. Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him. His army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head. Waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy. Filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold. A detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched and sexual into lust. with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Okay, well, I don't think I wanted to find that one. Thanks. That one could just stay away. Yeah, let's see what this says. Using photography mode. Uh-oh, did you forget to wash your hands? Gross. What should go in the shoebox? I don't know what weapons Alan has. I think he just has a pistol down there. Uh, so that's it. That's all you're going to get, I guess. You can just suck it down there, Alan. Hopefully that works out for both of you guys. They're never gonna stop. Endless trip. Oh my gosh. Aww. Hey, welcome, welcome. Oh my god, that just gave me a mighty spook. Thank you so much though for realsies. Yeah, it was so quiet in the game before that. Yeah, I was all prepared. I was already prepared to just like scare myself to death and okay. that gave me a mighty Hello? spook what jump scare anyone here nope did they get out if someone's here they're not going to answer you saga they're just going to jump you or were they turning just saying again? no yeah well, thanks for popping in everybody myself locked I've, I've never played this before so i'm just getting my butt lost and getting my ass killed a screwdriver Huh. Oh my gosh. I really enjoyed the first game. I played it way back when the 360 when it came out on the 360 and that was like my early mid 20s and I'm I just turned 37 and uh I played it like a week ago, like a couple weeks ago and I really enjoyed it the first game. It was a little big, I got a little lost in it, but I mean, I've been enjoying story games lately like tight just i don't know six to ten hour campaign games i i love open world games but 
I don't always have the attention span for like Breath of the Wild or Fallout anymore. So like an Alan Wake or Resident Evil 4 or 5 is perfect for me. How about you, hon? Any... Uh, we... Yeah. Are you, have you been enjoying watching me play Alan Wake 1 pretty much in this story? Yeah, I have. I really enjoy, you know, story games and slightly spooky story games. I really, really enjoyed watching you play Resident Evil 8. And I feel like this is, even though it's different, it's kind of similar in that there's like story and mystery and stuff to uncover and find. I had a lot of fun with RE8. Yeah, I wanted, really cool. I wanted to replay it recently, but it's not working on my PC. That's a shame. So I'm gonna have to uh, maybe play it on the PS5. I don't want to play it from the. I don't want to play it from scratch. I want to play New Game Plus. The Evil Within. Have you played the Evil Within? I played like the first four hours of it, and it got kind of difficult. But I think I might give it another shot on easy. I, I tried it during when I was doing like a Halloween stream in like, I don't know, 2017 or 18 or something. The Huchari Well. Legends say this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of watery history, this very well was where. Ilmari Hutari hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother. Why am I butchering these names? Why am I making myself sound way more racist than ignorant? Uh, it was only after he murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But was it madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder? Dude, I don't know. Why is this at a coffee-themed... Can I Can I go into camera mode and look down there real quick? No, not really. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. It took you only a weekend to get through it? Wow. Wow, that's, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, you guys plowed through it. It took me quite a few sittings, but I mean, that yeah. just means you were super into it and just <laughs> plowing through it. That's that's awesome, yeah. Oh. Oh, good. Cult symbols. This is, this is safe. Another cult stash? What could the tree be? What hides behind the smile? Okay. Well, help me look for a smile, will ya? No entry, staff only. We'll see about that. I'm FBI. Hey, staff. I love fences like this in video games that clearly the protagonist can get over. There's a there's a million like that in Fallout where it's like a half a door that's destroyed and it's like I have a rocket launcher. You can totally jump. <laughs> it's not fine. I didn't. I didn't wear my jumping pants today. You know. Makes sense. Yeah. How are you guys in chat doing? Are you guys having a wonderful Thursday? Tomorrow's Friday. I'm excited about that. When it's Friday, I'm gonna stay up late. I'm gonna game. I'm gonna geek out. Excited. Are we going to the museum on the weekend? We can go to a museum. Yeah. We can find a museum. We yeah. can. I'm excited for the weekend. It's been a long hot week. It's been in the high nineties. It's so hot really? outside. It's yeah. so damn hot here too. It's so hot and muggy. Mm -hmm. Where where are you guys located? You don't have to be exact. You can just do hemisphere if you want. Hemisphere, yeah. yeah, just I mean, you know, the maybe narrow it down to planet or solar system. <laughs> I will say that yeah, we're in Florida and it is hot as balls out lately. I saw a squirrel melt out there the other day. Really? Yeah. Wow. You're yeah, you're an alien. You're from you're from Hungary. Yeah. Wisconsin, Midwest. Oh yeah, um, it's midsummer, huh? It's hot everywhere now. Oh wow. I'm originally from Chicago. I've been up to Wisconsin quite a few times back in the day. Uh my BFF would always go hunting up there. Uh, dear, uh, people, the most dangerous game. <laughs> so, the people thing? Yeah, that's the purge. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't know why they only do it in Wisconsin in the woods. That's very <laughs> scary, but that's cool. That's cool. As long as you have a permit, they're cool with it. All right, I got to get my ass out of here. This is clearly not... This is a dead end until I get a key for that, and I need to find a smile so I can open that stash. I found another stash from the cult. Uh, fresh pop... Let's go to the gift shop. <gasps> yes. Somebody dropped their popcorn. That's a super bummer, man. Like, if this... That was probably really expensive at a theme park. <laughs> we put a for five <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. I thought it was every year, but I, I'm glad that I've been educated on it. I'm yeah, yeah. where I was ignorant before I'm clear. Five years, that's pretty good. And and you get booze. That's nice. Oh, this is the smile. No way. No way. Okay. Maybe it's not. I'm just I'm obviously too high. I'm a little <sighs> Okay. Uh there was a weird little cooler thing I saw down there and it had a padlock on it with a code or a key and it said that there was a key behind a smile it had a crude drawing of a smile on it so there's either a key or a code back there somewhere but there's a lot of smiles here there's smiles everywhere oh wow that thing is running yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to get a free ride on the Ferris wheel. I can't believe I wasted a damn bullet. I need a tool to get this open. I am in a I am one town over in a little in a little in a little town called Watery. Another cult box. Did you hear something? I'm freaked out. Oh, my Only striped cups, and then turn it. Okay, sure. Oh, six. Oh, only striped. Seven. Okay, seven. Is this striped? No, yeah, it's right. it's flamed. Oh, no, no, we have a single the stripes. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm worried about monsters here. What happens if they turn seven upside down? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Let's see. Seven and then one. Yeah. That's got to be it, right? Like, we're all the way around. Is there another stripe? There's, yeah. Four. Okay, it's got to be only the three. Seven four one. That's New Meadow Four. Or seven. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Seven four one. Okay, yeah. Let's let's plug this sucker in. I guess it could be several. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. In numerical order, do not take what is not yours. Well, you're a cult, so I'm not going to do what you say. Yeah, Florida Man is kind of a problem. Uh, I mean, we know and appreciate him for what he does, but we also loathe him for what he does. Um, Three, I want to say... Uh... We self-purge with high cholesterol and alcoholism. Oh no! <laughs> I I don't know. I I haven't been there in like eight years, so a lot have could have changed. <laughs> but um, uh, they they live a very unhealthy diet over there. 
Yeah. Lots of lots of um, kielbasa and sausages and salami. Tell me, tell me more of these salted cured phallic shaped Maybe. meats. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how about bacon? Cured bacon. That, that not, doesn't necessarily has to be phallic shape. But yeah. Oh, we, no. We have, all all we bacon are, is sexy. We are famous for all of our different weird salamis and, and sausages. And paprika. Gosh. Yeah, Hungarian paprika. You can even buy paprika from my hometown and uh, stores here. It's really cool. That's neat. Like local stores, like whatever, Publix and Walmart. Yeah. So, Is this open good? And my grandpa used to work in this factory back in the day when he was working. And where? The spice factory? The spice the paprika factory. The spice mines, like in Dune? Yeah, he used to carry big bags of paprika from one place to another. And then, I don't know if he worked on, like, processing them too. Ooh! I bet that's, a big I bet that's it. I bet that's it, yeah. He had a lot of different jobs. I don't want to yeah, read this because... probably was like a high school job or something. I'm afraid something's going to stab me in the back. A moosing mocha facts. Mocha is around six years old. Did you know moose can live up to 25 years? I do now. It's a lot of games. Moose are the largest species of deer in the world. Yeah, don't mess with a moose. Have you ever seen that meme photo? It's like a yield yellow sign, like a deer crossing, but it has a picture of a moose and it just says like warning invincible moose Dressing. or something like that. That'd be a good gamer tag, invincible moose. Let's see. Uh, are you harboring a key somewhere all up somewhere? Let me get behind you. Hey, man, can you give to me your secrets? Oh, no way. I got it. Now I got to remember where that box is to unlock. I have the key, but now I don't know where the box is. Virginia. Are there moose in Virginia? Yeah. I feel like I, when my mom was here and, and, and like we were driving on that trip to New York, we got stopped by moose on the side of the road, like, we were up in the mountains somewhere, and and a, a bunch of people stopped, and we were like, why? And then they were like, oh, there's pretty animals on the side of the road. And for some reason, I remember moose, but it may have been just big deer. Oh. They oh. had horns. I don't know. You showed me those pictures, and they looked a lot like beavers to me. So <laughs> I was kind of, yeah, no, that wasn't a moose. Moose are a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. they're huge. They're big. That's really funny. Mega moose. Oh, yeah. That was cool. I feel like that happened, but I'm still high. I don't know. I feel like that happened. <laughs> I may have dreamed it. You're like, that was a wonderful dream. I had a lot of very vivid dreams of camping lately is all. So that's why oh. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, the game is giving me so much crossbow ammo, I feel like I should just take it yes, out because I'm nervous. A lot of smiles here. Oh, I found the key. Oh, cool. It was on the big old smile. Big old smile. The percolator. Oh, good. That's going to mix up my insides. Jesus. Oh, shit. What the? Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. So, something oh, God. creepy happened at work today. Not very creepy, just, uh... Work creepy? Yeah. Uh, I work in a hangar with airplanes, and it's really freaking hot, so we have, like, giant fans going, and, uh... I don't appreciate that you guys all work in your bathing suits, but... Ah, uh, if only. It's fine. <laughs> if only. Um, so, this fan was shut off um, when I left the hangar, and I was coming back in, and there's a lot of airplane stuff in there right now, so you have to, like, cross narrow spaces in between, so I was, like, walking right by next to the fan, and no one was in the hangar, I was alone at lunch, and it suddenly just turned on, started spinning, and, like, slowly spinning and faster and faster and it turned on and I'm like what the hell happened and then later on I found out that our new guy the the one that has an electrician experience was tinkering with it because it was broken slightly so like 
And he was surprised that it was on. He's like, I left it like off. And there's no switch on it right now. So like, what happened? I'm like, well, it turned on on itself. Uh, it was scary. It's all like, no one else was in the hangar. So I guess pooped by the fan. Um, yeah, airplanes are cool. Um, our company repairs them. And we do like quick maintenance for airlines too. I, uh... Yeah, are you sure it wasn't a ghost? Was he messing with you? That's I'm telling you, no, it was at work. Okay, good. I don't think this new guy would mess with me. This was his <laughs> third day I, at work. I, I'm glad that you're just walking next to fans tightly and that you don't have to walk next to moving propellers that fast. Like, yeah, like that. I mean, we keep all our airplanes yeah. off like an inside. Burst, and then you also have to jump on moving platforms and dodge a fireball. Mm -hmm. No, I don't work in Mario World. world. Oh, I want I this, this, I want this jacket. Mar oh. Jacket. <laughs> the chair The chair is haunted. It's hovering. Okay. But yeah, they do like messing with me. <laughs> I don't have any like uh, aviation experience. I work in their office as their well, like, business admin. Oh, screw this, man. But um, I learned a lot over the year uh, that I was there, so... They can mess with me less and less about the airplanes nowadays. Uh, just yesterday I was uh, bringing an uh, oil filter over for them for a single engine Bonanza and they were like, hey, uh, you only brought one, what about the other engine? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, they would have gotten me last year <laughs> with that same question. Like when you tell somebody to go pick up more headlight fluid or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like that. It's like, uh, what about the other engine, but it clearly doesn't exist. Was that a real sound outside or was that I a think sound so. game? Okay. Not like an outside sound. Wait, did I actually leave the entire park? Okay, I gotta go back in. I think this guy loves me. Oh yeah, that's adorable. We, uh... Okay, so we had been seeing a cat pop up on our camera, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You, you you continue this. I, I gotta get somewhere. You get a game, okay. <laughs> On our front camera, and uh, there were several kids that were coming by eating, but uh, most of them looked like they were TNRs, and you know, like we feed them, Correct. take care of them, but yeah. uh, I'm not gonna take them in. But we started seeing this little kitten keep coming by, it looked like it was only like a few months old. It looked of, so petite and little, very little. So we we uh, got her a little trap, and I did not have high hopes. I put some food in there, put the trap out, but it was raining and stuff. And like, within the next hour, I heard a lot of noise outside. She got trapped almost immediately. Our orange cat was in the window freaking out too. Yeah, yeah, she, she alerted us. Um, so we got this little cat in. She has a nap tail. Uh, no tail at all, very short. She has a little gray kitty. And, uh... And baby, she was born that way. Yeah, she was born that way. Yeah, yeah. We didn't do it to her. Everyone asks that. Oh, but no. I, I mean, uh, also, like, it wasn't an injury. Oh, yeah, no injury. <laughs> um, and, like, you know, we started, like, giving her the... Taking her to the bed, getting all the shots, because... Uh, at first, we were planning to find her in a new place, you know, someone to adopt her and and like the second or third vet appointment it turned out that she was um expecting babies she was she was prego yeah she was prego she was only four months old locked four and a half months old i think uh, okay. she was already pregnant no use for a code. um she gave birth at six months old pretty girl <laughs> poor girl was was almost a baby still while she had babies um, 
So we ended up with four little kittens. Uh, that are being raised here and growing, and they are actually wind order already. Pretty much. Two Pretty of them, much. Two of them were trying to nibble off mom today. Eight weeks old. Uh, they, they are going to get adopted around 10, 12 weeks. Um, and they are being really, really cute when they are asleep. <laughs> One of them is laying on my lap right now. This whole time we've been streaming. I guess it's too much. We'll do. Thursday's thing. What day is today? Thursday. Today's Thursday. I'm so excited for the weekend. Tomorrow is almost the weekend. The keys to my trailer. Or now to find the clicker and the cult. I should probably listen to this uh, manuscript I found somewhere. There it is. Coffee world attack. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was Forever? standing next to the Huatari well. Must have oh no. Out, she thought. I hope she didn't jump she was in. About to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Shaft. Oh no. And I found ooh, I get to profile this guy. I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, <laughs> Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. You guys are crazy. It's too meta. This game is so meta. With the first one and with the rest of the Remedy verse. Alright. I should be... Do I have any more evidence for my case board here? I do. Clicker. Uh, how to... This one. No. Here. For later. I see how that is. Alright. Uh, cult stashes. Found near the Ferris wheel in Coffee World. Okay, so this should be in Watery. The watery area, there we go. Beetle Doop. Right. Yeah, so let us know if you want a kitten and we'll poke some holes in a shoebox and stick one in there and mail it to you. Yeah, I think UPS totally does that. I just saw someone uh, dropping off uh, a box of crabs yesterday at UPS. It was oh. a little paper box with uh, hundreds of yeah, holes in it. And uh, I heard crawling inside. Could have been a kitten. I was kidding. That's honest. crazy. I have no <laughs> idea. No, I mean, I wouldn't mail a kitten. But yeah, they do mail crabs there regularly. I, I, I did run into the crab guy uh, twice now. You ran into a crab person? Well, the, the crab boxes. Oh. <laughs> Not a crab person, the guy that mailed the crabs. I got really excited. I was like, please take a picture of him next time. Oh, uh, if only. By the way, I don't feel like an FBI profiler doing this. I <laughs> feel like an insane serial killer doing this. <laughs> Setting up no. my board. I feel like Charlie and Always Sunny yelling about Pepe Silva. <laughs> but yeah, let us know if you want kitten. We and, have, and crabs. 
I crabs now. Uh, we have little nuptial kitties. We're in Florida. We can probably mail some real crabs. Oh, for sure. And I don't know if it's legal. I would love to upgrade my gun. Let's see. Pistols, crossbows, shot, shoddy. Well, I should probably get that shotgun back instead of giving it to Alan Wake. Pretty sweet, right? This voice I just stepped on this kitten for like the 50th time. I feel so bad. But she yeah. hasn't moved. She just stays under my feet. Uh, she doesn't care. Like she, likes likes she, she likes it. She likes being stepped on. Santa. We'll call her Tarantino. Uh, Tarantina. Tarantina. Yeah, that's cute. And then she could, like, rejuvenate the indie film scene and then become a self-parody later in her life. Okay, this is even more deep. I, don't, I just realized it. Uh, my mom's poodle was called Tara. And Tara's daughter was called Tina. Tara and Tina. Tarantina. Mm. Uh, they each had a poodle. I mean, my mom had a poodle first, Tara. And then uh, that poodle had two little babies, and we kept one of them, Tina, and my aunt got it. Zaga was sure she had hit the taken in the head. Uh, but it not it's just, the I don't know, down. it was so random. She Tarantina. She fired again. Another oh. headshot. This time, the taken. I think her. if we have a daughter, we should name her Tarantula. <laughs> I don't know why. That's just. What about Clementine? You're giving me ideas. Tarantula. Oh wait, wait can I drink in here? Tastes terrible. Why is Casey's brand in my mind place? Also, I've never seen this before. Interesting. Interesting. Can I pet the mind place deer? I can't wait. Who is this? Uh oh, this is my daughter. I'll be home soon. This is my Schrodinger's daughter. Yeah. I'm not sure if she's alive or dead. If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Okay, I gotta get my ass out of the dream place. You've seen the movie Dreamcatcher with like it's a Steve based on a Stephen King book. I don't think so. We talked about that. Oh, okay. I thought I thought I started we... reading the book, but oh, okay. uh, every that's, time that's I read it, I fell asleep. Okay. I think Stephen I King wrote some weird hypnotizing things into it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. There were a lot of spirals. I happened the same with um, the um, finding. I couldn't read through it. Investigate my trailer. Okay, so I'm supposed to go back to me trailer o. There's a stash by the well that I haven't accessed. Just weird because I did read a lot of Stephen King books. Those two just gave me a hard time. I would like to save before I get killed. I well, think you can tap the screen. Let's see, let's do a manual save. Which, if I'm being a snob, I prefer over an automatic save. Oh, a microwave. Can you make a snack for yourself? Where's the microwave? Um, the snacks. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing on PC with an Xbox controller. There would normally be a snack button, but I don't. I don't have all the controls on here. Oh, I see. I need to figure out how to get back to that well, 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 because I didn't. I don't know if I realized there was a stash there. Okay. What's up? Oh shit. Oh shit. 
I hear guys. I'm in the push tomorrow morning. Ow. You know, that's fine. I deserve that. I came all up on her well without warning her. I've been sending this cat gift to all our maintenance guys recently. It's funny. When they like respond really quickly or something. Thanks for doing it. Let's double check if another wolf's not gonna maul me and I can try to read this. Oh, maybe I murdered MT. I thought the light was supposed to heat on me. Alright, so I got that stash. There was some ammo. Investigation is straight ahead. At a booth or something? Oh, and here? When you ask, Marisetta will speak. That must have been it. Let's see, is it still there? No, that was it, good. Thanks a lot, you're welcome a lot, I'm glad to be out of that mess. Where I go? I don't know. Let's hope it's just not a dead end. I don't want to. Oh, good. The lighthouse trailer park is right down this way. That's pretty nice and coincidental. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your oh, well. Uh, I hope not. Oh, I didn't know there'd be a cutscene. I would have checked out that place first behind me. Uh, I oh! These guys were in uh, Alan Wake 1. That's cool. These old musicians. Uh -huh. Only drink the moonshine, brother. Ah. Oh man, these guys are like the Cheech and Chong of alcoholics. Don't look like this. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think they're cultists. They're just a little sick. Uh-oh. I hope I don't have to kill you guys. I'm gonna feel really bad if I kill you guys. Excuse me. I'm looking for the Anderson trailer. I look so ominous rolling up on them with a crossbow on my back. I'm gonna smite him with my crossbow. <laughs> believe a word. Please. They believe because deep down they want to be told what to think. We're different rebels. You rebels. It before it turns real, don't be part of the story. Make the story. How am I gonna do that? The 
These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do they know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. Are they related to the Anderson sisters? So good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Murfar, Thor. <laughs> I think you guys are drunk off your rockers. Nice. 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 <laughs> Nice. Just as crazy nice. as everyone else. Just as caught in it. Oops. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna go back our quick and check out this building that I missed. Is this where I was thought to be attacked? Because it's super nice in here. Yeah. Oh, I should have. I should have saved in here first. Whoops. Um, let's see, let's see, let's check this Filio, an arrow in there. Oh man, let's, let's take back my shotgun. Sorry, Alan Wake, you're not going to get the shotgun, okay? Oh, I don't have more space. It's either the bow and arrow or the shotgun. Okay, Alan's going to get the shot, or the arrow later, there. No, four, it's a four stack. Oh. Biggest. Maybe I can combine this one. Yeah. There you go. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll just go in with these. I have a trauma pad. I have. I'm gonna also put one of these. This shoebox lets me give things to Alan and oh. vice versa That's when cool. we switch characters. Yeah. If I find one of these boxes, it kind of works like the original Resident Evil game and like Resident Evil Two, which is pretty cool. Hi. Yeah. Now, is it just me or do cartoon donuts always look delicious mm -hmm. and good in food? They're so shiny. There we go. There we go. I need a picture of that. Let's give you a wallpaper later. All right, let's get into the trailer park. <clears throat> wait, 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 which one's my trailer? I don't know, as long as I don't go into it first, which I probably will. Martial arts master. It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I don't recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deer fest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping. The price is what the? all of our custom designed Deer fest parade floats. Floats created by the award winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. Winners of last year's trophy for best Deer fest float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team and you're gonna get a cake. What what was the animal? I want to know. Yeah, what was the best non-deer float? Like, how do you beat a deer? Our floats are the best way to impress your friends, propose to your partner, or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just deer fest. Our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, bar mitzvahs, or your gonna search. Our floats will <laughs> any special occasion. I don't know if these guys are legit on the up and up or if they're sketchy. I'm, I'm so skewed by them. What was it? Did they mean Kinsinera? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was really funny. 
him stumbling with Sorrow. Yeah, that was dope. People liked it. And there you have it. Award-winning boats now at reduced prices that will... Knock you off your feet! Are yours today! I have a hard time believing that that's like a booming business only because if there's not a parade going on like why get like one float weird where's it gonna float to are you are you catstagramming over there house of the dragon yeah <laughs> uh yeah no spoilers but I really like the last episode of House of the Dragon that came on. That was good stuff. Too much truth in it. The Boys was pretty decent tonight too. I think the season has been kind of in a slump. I'm glad they actually at least at least it was fun. I enjoyed tonight's boy most of this season. I think. Can I can I go down the slide? No. Nope. Oh, You're an adult. Are you calling me thick? I'm calling you tall. Oh. Well, that's a first, so. <laughs> now, <laughs> one of those things, I, I, it did say I was going to be attacked here, so I'm waiting to get murdered. Ooh, someone's working out. something up from our last broadcast. There was some talk, an off-color joke of sorts, about Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky being dead, which of course is a bunch of hogwash. So I'm gonna give our dear friend Wendy a call so we can put it Yeah, in call Wendy. That ceiling fan looks really good. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Here, let me just spin around. Uh -huh. This is Jim Figamore. Okay, I, I, they didn't show I can't long. I can't see the thickness, but listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater and and I'm Okay, if I was playing as Alan, I would probably go into photo mode and then just like show the butt. I feel mm -hmm. bad doing it to Saga because I feel like I'm being a creeper and sexualizing her like but then I feel like if I do it to Alan, it's funny because he's pretty much like a rectangle. Yeah. yeah. Like if you ever watch like Batman, the animated series or like that old Justice League cartoon from the early 2000s and Unlimited, it's like Bruce Tim. How he draws everybody is like a, like a rhomboid kind of. And impressive bird feeders. And what's our reputation now? Haunted Bright Falls. Spooky bright falls. The world is laughing at us. <laughs> and now all this business with the FBI? We need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than all I. All right. Dear mom, as I promised, I'm writing to you now that we've settled in. We're doing great and busy as ever. The big city. Jim's working hard and landed a promotion. We're going to celebrate by going to a hot new restaurant that Connie recommended. Laura is doing well in school. She'll have her pick of any college with the grade she's been getting. So proud of my little girl. I've been making I've been making our apartment into a home, training staff and shopping for furniture. Who knew finding a decent chase lounge would be so hard? All going well. Don't you worry about us. Hope all is well. Love, Megan. Okay, so I mean she's lying, clearly. She has a million weights, too, so I have no idea who lives here. But I hope I meet them and they are fucking jacked. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take forever doing this. I just don't want to miss a trailer or some manuscript page level ups.
reeks of booze addressed to me from years ago. Wake was oh, well, I don't, I don't like that one bit. The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. Okay, so that's my trailer, I guess. Oh, I guess I can't go further. Is the rest of this town flooded? Wow, that's not good. I need something to cut this. Oh, to cut it? I can't just jam something in there? I don't like that the lake is claiming the town. Just saying. Oh. Sorry, I see supplies. I grab supplies. Yoink. Criminal justice. A critical look at a broken system. Armoro. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Um... Agent Anderson. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Our deepest condolences for your loss. The Bureau knows it's an incredibly hard time for you. I personally can assure you we are committed to your well-being and will allow the time needed for your recovery from this tragedy. The FBI is here for you. We'll be ready to welcome you back to work as soon as you're ready. We could use that insightful mind of yours, so we hope to see you back in our ranks soon. Murder at the Manor House, an architectural mystery by Margaret Formo, The Plot Chickens. Oh, that's cute. Because I know you love a good pun, Ilmo. Okay, so Ilmo is is for real, my friend. Here's all my look, here's all the balls of yarn. Oh no, my daughter died in this reality. I'm gonna be so bummed because I mean she's that means she's dead right now, probably. Oh no. Let me look at my mail again. This card has mom's handwriting. Am I going to get attacked in my own dwelling? Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This is getting too real. Too personal. Oh, wow. Your kid really could have used some art lessons, huh? Sorry to hear. On the left for a second, I really thought that she had drawn uh, Jules and Vincent from Pulp Fiction. But that's the Thor brothers. Okay, there's the big old deer. And there's somebody playing spooky games. It's wild that you grew up to live in the same trailer parky area as the old gods of Asgard. The kind stranger, the very old house, the ribbon-hearted girl. Okay, the very old house is something from Control also. Vaughn. Vaughn. Logan used to love her music. Logan's junior agent certificate. So cute. The Nordic Tales book mm -hmm. Mom gave to Logan when she was little. I just want to be sure that there wasn't evidence I could collect. All right, let's uh, plug some stuff into my evidence board before I, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. 
wait, mom never talked about her family. He said he was my uncle. Is he really my uncle in some capacity? Because this is nuts, Zoe. Are you out of it, old man? Are you off your nutter? All right. Note found in cultist dash mentioning M and T. Mr. T? It's this. Come on. There we go. Mulligan and Thornton? Are those the two cops? I guess I could profile and check, but I'm just going to stick some pins on the board. Logan's fictional room contains her actual mementos. Yeah. That's a real concern. No. All right, this is going to be the last piece of evidence in here. My new oh, I don't like that one bit. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carlyval and Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Cuscala brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home. Right after I find this biker workshop. Yay! Nice. No. Got item. Newspaper of your deceased daughter. Um. It's, it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. School. David. David, do you exist? The story and it's coming true. I saw where the shoes you were with him, but scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. Uh -oh. But he said there's still time to stop this. Oh, huh? I didn't know she had your butt then. I look like it on you. I don't know. Maybe it was just a shadow. Dear man. Hey. Mulligan? I think we met before. Fuck. Hey. Stay where you are. No, I didn't, because I was too far. Other side. Uh, I wonder. It might not be a Bluetooth, though. It might just be for talking to What's-His-Face. Yeah. For a little her friendo. Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? Everyone is a cultist. In a way. It's certainly feeling like it. Thornton too? God damn it. And now they're all taken? Look both ways. Hey, 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 freeze. Ah, the headline about Logan was hey there, bad. sir. Don't Take off it. the mask, sir. The cold has the clicker. Get it? Fix this. Oh, uh, pastrami sandwich. Yeah, that sounds tasty, but not his. Oh. No, no, the shadow pastrami sandwich does not sound good. This sounds like a pig made of a blob of shadow. Is that what pastrami is, Piggy? So. What's that? What the fuck's in his hand? Oh, here, knife. take that knife. Oh, take that cassette tape. 
I don't know what that is or why I did that, but sure. This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is where they have. I don't want to go in here, man. Still here. I need to find it. All right, let me let me look around the side of the house first. Another one of those lunch boxes. Aww. And that's why I look around the side of the house. It must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist or something. Yeah, well, sucks to suck, kid. Listen to these weird radio things. Hello. The game reminds me of Twin Peaks and weird crap like that. I think she must have been one of the ones that came out of the lake recently. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, so Pat's reality is the old one. And, yeah. you know, Scratch and everything's messing up this one. Dog sweaters. Alright, I have to go into this creepy hut. <laughs> you know, this warehouse that I call a hut. I feel like I'm playing Baldur's Gate now, checking all these drawers. Freaking kill me. I'm just looting your place. What state are we in? Is there a stand your ground law here? I don't know. The castle doctrine? Well, I don't like that there's not a door on there at all. All right, let's look around the rest of this room first. What? That's a How long until one of these deer just bites me? 
now. The deer strike back. Oh, haunted chair. Oh man, I have all these crossbow bolts. I need to find a shoe box to put them in. I should have waited to put the spooky tape in the machine. Stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan. Thornton was doubled over, coughing. A chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat. Oh no. Bring it, fucker. Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe, opened fire with his partner. The monster fell. They kept shooting. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree, a forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. A last line of defense. yippee ki motherfucker. Bright Falls fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. Oh, come on, Alan. You're ripping off lines from Die Hard. You're gonna throw it into your story. Woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. Okay, there are cult symbols all over the place. Somebody who's not the cult and works here should really, you know what? If, if you if you see something, say something. Especially if it's cult related. Locked. They must be in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. These emails are about as weird as the emails from Quantum Break. There were so many back and forth and re's. Uh -oh. This is the cult hideout. Their headquarters, even? There's a basement. Hey, if I get cornered in here, I have a shotgun. Very close quarters combat. Very good, very good. What's this, this about? one weird cult. I feel like that's pretty frequent. There are very few non-weird cults. Observation reports, subject cult of the tree. Intermittent surveillance of the paracriminal group known as the cult of the tree shows that their operation is limited to a small area of Washington State. K-1 
Category orange risk status. Delicious. Oh, wow. Okay, so the FBC was going to arrest them and decided not to. These sneaker fuckers are watching us, and our level of organization is fine. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Wow, okay. Someone's defensive about their level of organization. I feel like I'm leaving Alan with plenty of decent stuff. He should not be want for items. Oh, wow. There's so much evidence. That light switch you found washed up at the lake is not junk. It's fucking important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, we're going to cut out its heart. What? Stick this thing inside and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but just trust me. It'll be a ritual. This is gonna work. Okay, so when when you cut someone's heart out, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna flick it together. That's yeah, yeah. This is totally not some weird sex cult. The nightingale ritual wasn't completed. That's what all cults eventually devolve into. Start a cult with the noblest intentions, and it eventually turns into a sex cult. Who are these cultists that they're so dense that like the FBI is watching them and they're still like, let's do cult shit together. Around for themselves. Yeah, I know. I've been collecting it the whole game saga. The cult isn't well organized. People aren't clearly orders. This will be handy. That's it. This is the cult's process. Their ritual. Surround the target. Subdue them and use hammer or other blunt object. Oh yeah, I know that. Restrain them. Carve out their heart and recite the words. Put the clicker into their chest. Flick the switch two times to make sure it works. No, then you're just turning it on and then off again. Are you for real? You're going to restart the heart and bring it back to life. Remember floodlights on tripods. We need to see what we're doing. Always work in pairs. The cultist in pajamas coming down the stairs doesn't have the same same ring to it as uh, bananas in pajamas are uh, coming down the stairs. In pairs. Shit. When they say no one will find her corpse, are they talking about me? Uh, no, please don't threaten to eat my mind or actually eat it. All right, all right, I'm 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 done so here. They took it. They're playing with me. I was they changed reality. Oh. Wait, I need a profile mulligan real quick. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like milk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. The forest. The word. The word. A secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. Were you guys part of the cult and then the shadow started taking you over because you just happened to be like cultist already and it was convenient or 
are you purposefully letting the shadow, like when you do your cultist activity, is you're all absorbing it and going nuts? Also, I'd like to just thank chat for stopping in tonight and hanging out and listening to my nerdy rambling self. was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here. Like there was Cults always fail. Mulligan and Thornton are like Nightingale. My oh, wife's been watching a lot of cult documentaries on Netflix and HBO, and myself by proxy. And it's very satisfying when they go to court and collapse. But yeah, uh, thanks, thanks for hopping in. Uh, sorry that I just kind of get absorbed in the game sometimes, and I just really like the environment. I'm sitting on my couch playing right now. I'm streaming this over from my my computer in the other room. So I'm sometimes I'm just I just get super absorbed in the environment and story, and I'm like I just shut up or get distracted. And yeah, just thanks for thanks for chilling. Don't feel obligated to stick around if you got real shit to do. You know the trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The giant? The carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick. But the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there. Taken the clicker with them. Left this monster here to stop her. Okay, so I have to fight a giant. Very on chill. Oh, is that what's... Is that why the freaking cabin is shaking like a T-Rex is walking around outside? Let's upgrade my gun real quick. <laughs> um, how do I do that? An RC car? That's pretty freaking cool. Are you, like, souping it up? Upgrading it? Or just, like, uh... Assembling it from, like, scratch. Pretty much. In one fluid motion, Saga cracked open the shotgun, sending the empty hulls flying over her shoulder, and slammed the new shells in faster than she had imagined possible. That's pretty sick. Okay, I have to do something with my profiling. Yeah, with the deputies. Becoming taken. Okay. How did this happen? Terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. Oh, hey, the thumping. Oh, nope. I was going to be like, the thumping stopped. This was a trap. Yeah. 
It sounds like a huge taking is upstairs. Do I have flares or anything? Okay, good. I have some stuff. Oh, man. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, hey, no, 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 kitten. Oh, my God. You're crazy. Come here. No, no, no. You can't climb on the couch like that, crazy. Wait, did did the giant eat the pie? Is that the implication? Because that's goofy and absurd. Oh, fuck that. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey, my guy. Hey, my guy. Okay. Now, where's that parade float? Uh, looks like danger. Yep. <laughs> danger, danger. Ralph, I'm in danger. Mm -hmm. RC car. It's like cool. a radio control one. Oh, a little one. Okay. Cool. I I guess it could be like a full Tesla that yeah. that he modified to do that. <laughs> True. Yeah. True, true. That's fun. That's a, yeah. I hear a lot about car assemblies at work. My uh, co worker slash boss um, is painting a Jeep from scratch. She's turning it all silver. Like, so it's like completely hey, apart. Every right single there. part was out of it. Out of and he's now putting it back together. Thornton was doubled over um, and every time he like progresses a little bit, he shows me photos of it and everything. Usually after a weekend or something. Pretty cool though. The monster fell. Like, I'm not particularly into Jeeps. I like muscle cars better, but. Yeah, he's trying to bond. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I need some help here. Cultist room hidden beneath Ilmo's motorcycle club. Uh, it's gonna be cult locations. I can't read it. I think it's gonna be poop this. Put on your glasses. Oh, they might be involved. Yeah, there we go. See, why are you guys involved? Are you guys sketchy or what? No detailing this. Wait, where am I, by the way? Am I safe? Okay, I'm in the light. I was like, am I safe just standing here digging around like this? Yes, yes, I am. Everyone's a little bit involved. This is, sorry, here. Cultist note admonishing members for sabotaging uh, Federal Bureau of Control equipment. Oh, no. Writing for control, no. Uh, psychology, maybe? Yep. They aren't totally aligned. Doesn't sound like a jubilee. Cultist note about ritual being interrupted. Uh, cult rituals. It might be the nightingale stuff. Yeah. I didn't have time to use the clicker. Okay. 
Note about using the clicker in the ritual. The cultist knew the clicker. Drug fuel scribbled on the origin of the cult triangle symbol. Huh? Come on. Symbol? Symbol. Bring it, fucker. Mulligan fired. Okay. Confirmed cult members. Yeah. Alex Casey lunchboxes. Let's put one of these suckers up. Motorcycle club in Watery. Watery is here. Case files. Fact V F V F. Fact versus fiction. Uh, yep, my daughter's drowned. R.I.P. No, that is not going uh -oh. forward. Some real things are uh. mixed in with the fiction. Doesn't matter. It's not real. It's not. Uh-uh. The photo oh, yeah, so I'm close to the ground. There's crabs. Worth following up on later. Yeah, I hear a lot of sirens out there tonight. It's like GTA out there. Is everyone okay? A lot of cops wondering if everyone is okay. <laughs> That's it. The clicker was there the whole time. Fucking Mulligan and Thornton. Someone says there was a bad accident. Um, and, um, um, it's just read. Saga had read about it. The trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. I don't know which, um... Reading this made her sick. Manuscript it wants me to listen to. When she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker with them, left this monster here to stop her. They took the clicker into the overlap. How do I get it back? Oh, I didn't know this was on. The, was this on the floor the whole time? The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. That cauldron light giving the poem the heart to the witch sign opened the overlap. He 
here, it's the parade float. But it's incomplete. This is one disturbing parade float. Stabbing again and again. That must mean the arm's supposed to move. How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? So this is the Koskala Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. Hmm. Fair trade fun zone. Espresso Express. Got it. Gift shop. Easy. I can't make out what it says. Damn, that's a good scratch job. Let's add this jump to the board arc quick. E I got so much stuff. Stick it all up there. I did the cassette tape one by chance. Hmm. The float killer isn't wearing a mask. Maybe he needs one. Yeah, I know. Where be though? Should the characters be moving? Huh, yeah. This, this is the work of a sane person. What's missing from the parade float? I need a to lot of stuff. Together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a bear. Spooky. I don't like that one, you bet. I guess let's wander off into coffee world again. Oh, wait, I need to profile something. Sorry. I'm going to do that in the light. Let's see, where's my prof? The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Do you want to do this? Mm -hmm. We just got to quietly here. No, we know. I'm no. gonna. There is such yeah. a thing as too much coffee. Okay. Mulder will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the moose skull mask is. All right. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Most stink is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. I hope I get to fight a Shadow Moose. Where is the mask? Wow, they look like potatoes. Yeah, they are. Show the bitch. 
And this baby. Little eyeless baby. Damn it, I knew something was in the well. The moose mask is at the Huatari well in Coffee World. I think that's aqua. Ilmo stood in front of the parade float, turned dramatically to his crew. Now, imagine the murderer's arms moving. Stab, 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 and then Naki laughing. Everyone at Deerfest always plays it safe, not us. This monument to Watery's history, this work of art will sweep this year's awards. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. Art, right, please. This guy is just trying to make floats to win awards. He doesn't care about. It. It's not for the passion, man. I'm um, kind of excited. We might get deep dish pizzas for lunch tomorrow at work. That's awesome. Um, I'm jealous. My coworker that's from Chicago mentioned that he would like to turn the place and can also want to an order from there for lunch. I know the Musco will be there. Someone promised us pizza today and they forgot to bring it by. Or I don't know if it was just a joke promise, but um, we all had the taste for pizza, so we were like, well, let's do it tomorrow. That sounds bomb. Yeah. Do you know where you're getting the deep dish from? Did I hear enjoy that? these. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I'm sure that's awesome. The moose skull goes here. The restaurant I went to with your parents. Yeah. yeah. There's a few of them in town. Man, I should order a deep dish pizza now. Nothing, nothing would be like this one. late to get so. one. Today's the day I should have played like Fallout or something a little more wild. Oh, this is more, more wild than this. Shoot a bunch of stuff. I mean, like uh, just like active. Even more bean. Oh, look at it. I already broke into this safe. Uh, I don't remember what else I need. Uh, complete the ritual, investigate the parade float area. Oh, okay. Oh, do I need a circuit board or something? says to complete the ritual, but I'm not sure if I'm missing anything. at the Espresso Express. Cool. 
Where that? Okay, hang a sharp right. And then a left at the well. This way. Then a left at the old spooky well. Where in the world am I going to get a circuit board up here? No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Yeah, I see it disappearing under there. Fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Okay. Give me that good fuse. In the Knight's workshop. It also said there was a first aid kit in here, so I guess I missed that. Alright. That gave me a spook again. I forgot that I put a spooky thing in there. That cassette tape with the Halloween laughter. I'm grateful for a save point. Uh oh, what are you doing, Kitty? I can use I barely I freaking use saw this. Oh. Those graphics are too freaking realistic. It was just blending right in for me. Uh, uh, all these saves are the same now. I just I have no desire to check those times. Let me make my cutie with a booty over to the espresso place again. It, it reminds me of uh, Freddy Fazbear laughing like five nights, mm -hmm. kind of <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like goofy. Why do I want to turn this on? What does this have to do with the uh, parade float over there? Is there a trick to doing this on purpose? It looks like only one's missing and there's only one empty space.
Am I gonna get wolfed in the face here? This is the perfect position to get wolfed. This is how I die. Good thing no one was writing that. How the hell do I get out of this? Well, that wasn't it. It sounds like it's glitching out, but it's not. Oof. unnecessarily dangerous for me and my well-being the killing of monica thompson was a terrible mistake thornton blamed mulligan's itchy trigger finger mulligan blamed thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich they only agreed it wasn't their fault no one will find her corpse we'll hide it you dummies body to the maw of a crumbling well like the murderous huatari brothers did long ago they lied to everyone the word would never get out. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them, like cancer. The darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. That's enough out of you two. A little something to get those arms moving. Ooh, I triggered it. I started the ritual, though. Oh. Wow. Okay, this is an overlap here on the in water. I don't want to go in there at all, really, but. All right. Oh, no, the overlap is down the well. I thought it was going to be in the direction of the float. This is creepier. Nothing ever good is down the well. <clears throat> what the hell? Where am I? G give me examples of bad things down wells. Resident Evil 8. Um, Samara, the ring. Uh... Well, well, well. I feel like I'm going to meet the Stranger Things kids down here. I don't know if I'd rather fight a demigorgon or 
the shadow guys here. Yeah, it worked. Consider me spooked. Grab that little infant. Grab that infant. Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue. Shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman. Yeah, place. what is all this climbing all about? FBI bitch. I'll make a big huh? fucking mess and get these dumb back. You're on climbing all right this time and now suddenly turn to his partner. And you're ready to go. Government mother you start behaving Next time Mulligan, like this. I'll tell her. Cats you behaving badly. You let your uh, you drown. You fucking fraud. Whoa. Weird. Paying the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Inside them, they grinned. Wow, I didn't realize they didn't like me that much. What did I do to you guys? I'm just going to say, I don't like this at all. I'm down to one set of batteries. I don't know how it happened, but I'm very low on batteries for what I'm dealing with here. Uh-oh. You know, 3.9 million people have seen our um, cats. kittens, cats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, 3.5 million individual That's views, 3.9 total. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's incredible. I haven't been TikToking for a long time, but um, somehow me uh, hosting in the middle of the night at 3 a.m., Freaking out about, out about the kitty right after she, well, seven hours after she gave birth, hoping she's all okay. That that push just blew up. It's been two months and it's still being viewed and commented on. And I don't know why. Like, people are still commenting on like it's happening right now. And I'm like, it's been two months ago. The kittens are all healthy and mom is the happiest ever. Um, it's exciting. I've never had a post that had this many views before. Like, I've only, I've gotten like maybe a thousand views before that. And I was very happy with that. But these little babies are famous. Aww. Little mid-level fame kitties. Mid-level fame kitties. Where the flip am I going? By the way. Oh, it's a sauna. I'm literally in perpetual danger. This game's graphics don't make me feel good. <laughs> The guest room is completely sealed. Is that by design? Like, it's latched. I didn't. Let me go on latch it then real quick. Cause... Someone latched it. They run into the door so hard, they literally self-latch it. Hello, badly two-pound mm -hmm. kittens. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama Cat. Alexa, turn on the lights. Come on, Mama Cat. Good Mama Cat. <laughs> Oh, 
I forgot I was in the darkness for a second. The overlap, rather. The underlap. The in-between lap. I um, saved my favorite old co-worker from an accident today. They have this um, bonanza all open up. Um, the, all the cylinders are out. Bonanza? Is that a plane? Yeah, it's a plane. And like the college cool. is open, so there's a lot of metal that's um, sticking up. And they were doing something on the engine. Like something was really tight, and they had to like crank on it from each side because it was spinning for a long time. Like they were really working in it, as they say. And like this, this little metal piece that you screw stuff on, like a bracket or something, was just sticking up. And I'm like, keep looking at it, and he's keep turning this wrench like very hard towards it. I'm like. I know you know it's there, but you're going to hit your hand on it at one point. So I'm like, do we have some bowl noodles? Because I've seen them in the hangar across the street and uh, the other business. And I found some in our in our parts room. And cut it all up, put it on there. I went on to lunch break, came back. Guy is like, oh yeah, I cursed so hard right in front of uh, our cleaning girl, who is a Mennonite. I felt so bad, she, she just looked up and whatever, I, I apologize, and I'm like, oh, what happened? He's like, oh, well, this, this nut is still giving us a hard time, and I, I slipped on it. Oh, by the way, if this uh, phone wasn't here, you would be driving me to the hospital right now. I'm like, oh, thank God. I put oh, it on there. Yeah, he's like, uh, he literally hit it with his like, low, lower arm. And like below oh. the elbow, it would have cut open right there if we hit the metal. Uh, dangerous job when you're trying to force a nut to unscrew that doesn't want to go. Like, you know, it's been in there for years. That engine is like 30 years old. I'm so lost, by the way. Mm -hmm. Do we have a map? Not for under here. Don't Shit. Think hey, kitty. What are you doing over there? Come here. Yeah, you. You. Come here. Uh, okay. I guess I am supposed to go down the well. I thought this might be where I came through the overlap. The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. I don't, this, yeah, okay, this must be a new one, good. I was worried that I was going through the same crap. Wake, I saw him this way in the other overlap. It's a Damn it. Just like before. Uh-oh. Is that Wake? <laughs> What's the kitty doing? He's playing with one of my... Creations. Like, this is the end of the yard. Oh, that's cute. But, like, he was honing onto it, honing onto it, and he was keep looking up to the point where he just fell back because he lost balance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was funny. Lack of coordination sometimes to kittens. Mm -hmm. This is a nightmare. I oh, get well. That. I need to look for oh. another way through. Yeah. What the hell?
What is going on over here, my guys? So much blood. Salute. Are you gonna have to get in here? Oh, I thought you went back. No, it's a loop. I might have <laughs> from the wrong direction or something. Oh. Not having a good time. I don't like that so many of you cultists are chilling here with me in the overlap. Please leave. Try this way again. Maybe I missed something. Oh, is that a gate? Maybe. Nope. I'm um, okay. Well, there's no music this way either. Must want me toward the music. Sorry, I'm so lost. Oh, wow. That's new. No, sir, I don't like it. Oh, what the hell? What the? What was that? That looked a little bit like the director from Control. I can't imagine why that would be here, though. Oh, no. Freddy's laughing at me again. This particular loop session reminds me of uh, PT. Makes me think of playing PT. Yeah, let's go down the giggle well. Going down. Meal and timber. This is an abnormally long ladder. I, oh, that's that's terrible. That's awful. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to pretend it's Red St. Patrick's Day. And they dyed the water red. Trapped how? What does that mean? I'm trapped AF. Oh, do I not want that? I thought that was helping me last time. Oh no, poor Mocha. This is probably safe.
I must hear about Mocha's funeral. Mocha was still a student in front of the small gathering of Coffee World employees and bikers. He read from a piece of paper. Mocha was a wonderful moose who deserves a place of honor in the Hall of the Calavella Knights. His skull will become the crown of the Grand Master, the dead on a float. All right, how respectful. Boss. After the service, <laughs> Ilmo had the body hauled off to be turned into moose steaks. Mocha and Thornton were told to get the head cleaned. They both grabbed an antler. What the hell, Thornton? I got it, Mulligan. They brought the skull into the workshop to boil it and bleach it. They grumbled. Wanted to just get it fucking done. It was just a stupid animal. But I guess moose steak is never a mistake, huh? See, this place feels safe because it's a tiny bit lit, but I'm eventually going to get attacked in here. I'm sure of it. I'm just waiting for it. Also, hold on. Let me check these kittens. Hey. Come on. There's a lot of uh, blood around now that I don't like. And there's a shoebox, which kind of worries me. Because I don't like shoes. The laughing menace. Purr, purr. Hey, how you doing? Purr, purr, purr. Purr, purr, purr. Good. How are you? Good. Getting freaked out by all this chortling, especially by that game save I just saw pop up. Oh my god. There you are.
Holy hell. I wasn't sure if I was doing that right for a sec. Wake? I I've been tricked. Scratch room. I tried to fix the story, but has it now. It's the key to escape. Do I get paid tomorrow? Yeah. You want to order some of those fat cookies if they're open? making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? I mean tonight. Okay, I wasn't sure. I'm, I'm no. I I just realized my verbiage was not clear at all. I wait till twelve oh one. No. Uh, Can't wait that long. Overlaps. But and um, we're cookies, and um, we are not just not remembering the name. That's literally the name of the company. When he was still trapped <laughs> in the dark place. Yeah, Google it. See if it's in your area. Fat and weird cookies. I They're pretty amazing. Good. I can stop this nightmare. We found them on DoorDash. I don't know if you could find them in person. I'm sure you can. I think they are real, and you pick them up. <laughs> I and, think they are yeah. real. It's not at Ghost Kitchen. You could air fry them or bake them or whatever. And they're really good. They have weird, unique, ugly cookies. They're ugly, but yeah. tasty. Yeah, I want to thank all you cool nerds for popping in, you know, hanging out for a bit, listening to my weird old ramblings. My mm -hmm. wife and I chatting about cats. Chatting about cats. And you should play some more Marvel Sons. I definitely should. I was thinking about it driving home, but then... I forgot about it. Something happened on the road. There's always something on the road. When you finish your homework, you could do some Marvel Midnight Suns. That was a pretty fun game. I was surprised. Yeah, the, the A2 write and, and research paper outline this weekend. That's not that hard. I just I just need to decide what I make my research paper on. That's usually the hardest part. Creator research. Everything keeps calling this a safe healing light, but I've never seen my health go up once with it in this game so far, so I don't know. <laughs> Can you touch the pole? Maybe you have to climb the pole. Like at the end of a Mario level? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like the triangles? Oh, I swear if that's it. No. It's gibberish, that's all. It's just, it's all that's gibberish. It. It's just a safe night. It doesn't heal. Heat and eat. Heat and eat. Which one was your favorite cookie? My favorite cookie? From the last time. I think I had this blue one. The blue one was good. And I had the, uh, the chocolate one was really good. You had those pink ones. Mm. The hell? Wizard brew. Uh, yeah, definitely one of those. And yes, s'mores. That one. I'm interested. I want to get to that gray area, so let's go... Oh, it's still creepy out. I thought it was brighter out after that little convo, and I got excited. I'm like, oh, I feel safe. Let me get to the light, the safe light, and get my bearings. I am further than ever. All right, so that is a point of interest, which is what's this POI? This? That's new. I saw something like that earlier, but I didn't know I could interact with it. Was that the point of interest? The point? Ah, uh, it seems that it was. Kitty, please. 
This is the incorrect way. Wow, that boss fight kicked my butt. I feel like I used a lot of resources on that. I keep going north. What was that horrifying music that just came up for a second? Oh, that, okay. Fast motherfucker, I don't know. What do, I, what do I have? Whoa, 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 what do I need for you? What do I need for you? Whoa, whoa, ah, okay, okay. I get it, you like throwing axes. You're really good at it, you're really good. I concede. Still going north. Doing a quick save. Come on, Casey. No answer. David. Oh, what we can't. There's a coupon if you order for thirty dollars. It's five dollars. Leave a message. David, yeah. Can you call me back, please? I added one extra cookie to raise your three bucks, but we are five cents off. Uh -huh. David answering? Is Logan all right? Uh, How does this all work? Has a horror story already gotten her? Wake should know. The flooding's lowered. I should look around, see where the water was hiding. It, it's an insane number like I was telling my mom and cousin on, over the phone and I'm like guys I'm not keeping them like I know I'm saying seven but it sounds crazy but 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 it's three in reality <laughs> Bathroom? Okay. I'm missing one kitten. I, I feel crazy having to wrangle these animals. Uh -huh. They're so freaking funny. They're always thumping around the house, getting into something or climbing something. I saw one of them. Is this enough? I'd say so. For, I don't know how far it is. It's usually distance. To, mm -hmm. so if, it's, if it's like... It's on the other side of the university. Uh, five miles. Ah. Okay. I'm so. gonna place the order then. Oops. Oh wait, is that my card? Yeah. Nine. Sure. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, why why am I being the punishment? <laughs> I'm like, you wrangle it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to pawn it off on you. This is weird. Why does it look different? Uh, don't forget to use the janitor's bucket in the janitor's break room and alternate between characters. Between janitors. Between janitors. Yeah, like in Scrubs. Okay, so where is the janitor's break room then? Is it is it in my mind, please? Did we unlock the door? The outdoor store. Door. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm like in my mind place.
Yeah, like, am I crazy? Is there a janitor bucket in here? What are you guys talking about? Unless you mean the one all the way back at the place. Okay, I, when it gives me that hint, I'm like, is it telling me that because there's one in this room? Because I'll switch right now if that's what it's telling me. But there isn't. They just, they're in different rooms. Alright, so I can clearly still be attacked here. I'm going to head to my left and go around the corner. I gotta see what's back here. Here. I'm going to do this in this house phone. I'm just going to use the photo mode real quick. Is there even a way down here? Does this make sense? Why am I going to sleep? Why does the kitty taste mm -hmm. Oh, good. Horror movie music popped up. Oh, that's a stump and not some weird monkey statue. Hey, come on, dude. You guys gotta go away, I guess. Come on. Come on. Come on, kitty. Oh, you're all fine and like crazies. This is I want to double check that you're outside. I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you doing? Hey. Aw. Thanks for wrangling the rest of the kittens. Marvel and Pappy, and that's all that matters. Oh, I've been up here. Oh, but that... Wait, is this where that house was underwater? And now it's not? Okay. What? Yep, all this was underwater earlier. And now it's all dried up. Oh, screw this. Why do I want to go in this horror show? She has better places to be. The ground, like the carpet, just the rug, just on the floor hanging. 
this house reminds me of it for some reason, but like the curse that show on Showtime. Yeah. That was a I enjoyed that weird show a lot. With so and that's so. So not so. Poor so not so. Not so so. I can't believe I haven't gotten an achievement for petted ten deer yet. I don't know if that's a real achievement. I just can't believe I haven't gotten one. Is this a control station? Oh, no. Code name Beauty and the Beast. Test result notations. Creating the perfect environment for each test case has become the crux of my study. However, I am certain that setting the stage in a sufficiently convincing manner will make the fiction come into existence. I am now going to use propping in a way a set designer of a feature film, making the cabin seem like the actual house of the characters depicted in the rhyme. With small personal touches and realistic items, in addition to a few key items, such as the drawings, dolls, and personal letters used so far. The early results have been promising, but incomplete. I will continue with the propping in a controlled manner until it reaches a functional state. It's crucial to gain traction with this. The dimensional opening I'm attempting to manifest in this very location will be a groundbreaking achievement worthy of my genius. All right, my guy. Hmm. There's a Beauty and the Beast. Oh, okay. So there's there's this sexy bed and all these weird dolls. And oh, yep. There's Beauty and the Beast. Actually, I gotta zoom in on this. This is great. There she is. There's Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Is there any more of them? So, I mean, I I hope you didn't manifest a bear, my guy, because I don't want to fight a bear. I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further into it. Yeah, let's place all my dolls up here by the creepy doll page. Think. Is there no more weird photos of a lady and a bear hanging out? Ooh, moss? All for me? Rhymes. I mean, I don't like that weird noise.
Let's see, let's see. Oh my god, yeah, there's no way. Something feels Something different. Feels I should look around. <laughs> You goofball. You goofy kitty. <laughs> that is insanity, Marvel. Really funny, though. I guess I should go to the trailer park. There's a lot of investigation stuff there. How do I get there easiest, though? Just keep heading south, I guess, ish. Wow, that's going to suck. That's a long trip. Is this a save point? Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. Although with that, I do think I am going to end it. Because I have been streaming for a few hours now. It's getting kind of late here.
but yeah, for real, thanks for the uh, unexpected, really chill raid. It was much appreciated, and uh, you know. Yeah, thanks for being God. Oh my goodness. Chatting. Hope you all have a good night. Yeah, have a good night.